Well, hello there, guys. In this video, I'm going to destroy this scary movie DVD. So, let's do it, shall we? And put it through some tests. Starting off with is the bed. Here we go. Hmm. Didn't hear much damage there, but let's have a look. Hmm. See a little bit of. Ooh, there's some marks there on the cover if you can see that. The rest of the cover looks fine. Alright. Well, now it's time for the next trick. Now, instead of throwing it out a window, I've, I've wanted to do this for quite some time, and that's throwing it down the stairs. Now, I do apologise if the stairs look like this. My stairs are getting some new carpets put in, but whatever. Anyway, let's see how good this thing is at being thrown down the stairs. Oh. Okay, well, the disc is completely fine. Let's look at the rest of the cover. Oh, I think a bit of the plastic there is gone. I don't know where that's gone. Oh, there it is. Well, that one piece broke off it. Well, let's see how good it is by a hammer, shall we? And as we all know, well, these DVDs shatter to pieces whenever they get hit by a hammer. Although this time, we're going to do something a bit different. I've set up a camera in my bedroom on my phone in slow motion. Because I want to try and record some slow motion of me hitting this thing with a hammer. So let's see how good it is. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Right, there we go. Now, now that thing was quite hard to break up. That's partly because I'm hammering it on a carpet floor. Compared, because like when I hammer these things outside, they break apart a lot easier. And I think that's partly because it's on a hard ground. But anyway, let's move on to the next step now, shall we? So just give us a minute. got all the pieces now let's go and burn it shall we
Well, there's the DVD. Let's get burnt now, shall we? I'm trying to make sure I get an, a lot on the, the cover. I think I may need another lighter because it doesn't look like Yeah, as predicted, yeah, this flames, this didn't even do that much. Let me try again. Oh, there we go. Woo wee. Ah. Making sure I stand a little bit further back. As we witness that DVD getting burned. Stinks the smell coming from that. Absolutely stinks that. I need, yeah, I need to stand back quite a bit because that flames. Oh, woo wee. Looks like now the flames are properly catching onto that thing and may very well burn that thing. Looks like it's going out. Mm. Nah, that needs more. more. Flames on that, on the bit, top of it, because there's still some of that that looks like it's survived. Mulder? Just a little bit more and this should do the trick. This last little bit here should hopefully do the trick, hopefully.
behind there. I'm just making sure it gets on the disc. Oh, look at that. Goodbye, scary movie DVD. Bye-bye. Ooh, right. That looks like that's enough. Let's scoop it out now, shall we? There it is down there. Ugh. I can see partly bits of the, the bits of paper that were in there have survived a little bit. There's bits of the cover in there, as you can see. This is the main bit, I believe. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. That honestly looks amazing, that. I think this has been the best thing I've ever burned, the best results I've ever seen from a, D from a DVD that I've burned. That honestly, that looks better than the free scary movie DVDs that are destroyed in the last video. And that, this, 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 and not only that though, this also looks better than the results from that Thomas and the Magic Railroad DVD that I've burnt as well. I mean, just look at that, the way how that disc looks. It just looks amazing, that. Just the way how that plastic has just melted there. It just looks priceless, that. I mean, look at that. And that plastic 